What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Dogecoin and something that's about to happen in Dogecoin that could cause Dogecoin to pump huge in the future. So definitely stick around to the end of the video. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over first and also remember if it's not your keys it's not your crypto you've seen what happened to voyager and all these other exchanges so if you want to help protect your crypto definitely go ahead and get a ledger nano wallet either the x or the s either one is good i have an affiliate link in the description so definitely check that out and also this video is brought to you by marcellus.beatstars.com if you need background music for our youtube videos or if you just need beats for your music i got you and remember i'm not a financial advisor none is financial advice Let's talk about this though. So let's talk about what will really cause Dogecoin to really pump in the near future. This is going to be huge for Dogecoin. So really look at this. Elon Musk's foreign company will now accept payment in Dogecoin for underground rides in Las Vegas. This is huge. We already know Las Vegas is a huge city. It's really big on public transportation. And now Elon Musk's foreign company will now accept Dogecoin for the underground rides. So that's going to be really big for Dogecoin. This is something that nothing else has really achieved. And now Dogecoin really, really solidifying itself inside of crypto being the payment for a little world underground traffic system. This is about to be huge. So anyways, Elon Musk has found a new way to promote Dogecoin. Musk the underground transportation company. The foreign company now accepts Dogecoin payments for rides and it's a Las Vegas loop in the cryptocurrency world. This is huge. The loop is a network of tunnels located under the Las Vegas Convention Center that transport people using Tesla vehicles traveling at high speeds. The Las Vegas loop is the boring company's first project in commercial use, and the company has plans to expand the tunnels throughout Las Vegas. Musk's boring company also plans to build underground tunnels in Texas and has submitted a proposal for a loop in Miami. This is going to be big. I'm definitely going to be able to go over there in Miami, maybe do like a vlog for you all over there. But yeah, this is huge now that they accept Dogecoin. So yeah, everyone thought Dogecoin was a joke back then, but Dogecoin is definitely not a joke. But yeah, this is really going to cause Dogecoin to pump huge in the future. Let's kind of go over some technical analysis right now for Dogecoin, though, because we have a lot to talk about. So first things first, I want to kind of show what FX Street kind of believes for Dogecoin and what I believe is about to happen here. So over here, it says what would happen to Dogecoin price if bears lose control. So Dogecoin price is at an inflection point, which could result in a 15% move in either direction. So it could either go up or down by 10 or by 15%. So a swing high above 0 0.071 and a flip of this level into a support floor is likely to trigger a bullish move. So if we go above 0 0.071, they're saying that we could become bullish. Right now we're at 0 0.07052. So if we get to that one area, like if we go up like 0 0.00050 more, which is a lot of zeros, I know, then we could definitely become bullish here with Dogecoin. And we're actually almost there. It looks like it's trying to break there. We're actually at this resistance point. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in the future. And as in the future, I mean like in a few minutes. But anyways, yeah, we're right up here at this resistance. I'm going to talk about that soon though. But anyways, that is like the inflection point that they're talking about where if we get past that point, then we're going to become bullish. So that's really big. And rejection at this point at 0 0.071, followed by a breakdown of the low time frame support level at 0 0.062 could push Dogecoin lower. So look, if we go down below this area, if we can't pass this 0 0.071 area, if we can't pass that area, then what's going to happen, we're going to end up pulling back down to this support down here. And that's what they're talking about in here. So this is definitely a good little analysis here of what Dogecoin is about to do. I definitely do believe Dogecoin is probably about to do something similar to this. But let's kind of go over this now on the actual charts. So as you can see, the red area is supply and demand of less demand. And we're actually being stopped at this area of supply and demand of less, less demand, which indicates this is our resistance. And we've actually hit this area three times already. And usually the third time is a charm. So usually we pump after the third. We either pump or we go down after the third time of trying to break out. And we're actually trying to break out for a third time here. So we actually may see that coming very soon for Dogecoin. But yeah, like they said, and like I said too, if Dogecoin could actually pass this go above 0 0.071, we're going to become bullish. And it's going to end up going up here to this next resistance line. And this is pretty much 0 0.07179. So it's on the upper area of the 0 0.071 area. So we definitely want to see that coming soon for Dogecoin. And then, like I said, also for the bearish scenario, if we cannot break past this level up here, we will end up pulling back down here to 0 0.0629. Uh, 
somewhere around that point zero six nine. I mean, and then what will end up happening is Dogecoin will then eventually slip all the way back down here to where we were at the mid six areas, point zero six seven, pretty much. So that's what we got here. The bulls still in control of the twenty four hour market control by uh, eighty percent. So it's still eighty percent bullish. That's what it's showing here on the fifteen year chart. So whether or not you want to believe we're still eighty percent bullish, that's up to you. But we have been bullish in the last 24 hours, so that 80% is definitely showing you something. But what you do want to pay attention to, we had so much buying coming in to this day, but notice how the buying has slowed down, which is a bearish signal. That's pretty much what the oscillator is showing us. So this buying wave was huge. It got us all the way up here to where we're at now. But the next buying wave was pretty small because, look, we peaked, and then we did a pullback and sold out right here. And you can see this is where the selling happened, and this is where the next pump came. But it was a lot smaller because the buying was a lot small, a lot less. So pretty much now that we're seeing less buying in this area, this next wave right here, this next selling wave is actually coming to an end. So the next time a purchasing wave comes, it's going to be a lot smaller. So even if we are to become bullish, don't just expect it to completely shoot to the moon immediately. That's why I drew this right here. It's probably going to end up not going all the way up to where you want it to go like to 10 cents or something. It'll probably just go up to the upper area or the mid area of 7 cents. So that's probably what we'll end up seeing for that. But hopefully we do get a bigger pump for Dogecoin. Just don't expect like some 30% gain like immediately. It's only like a little bit of a pump that's supposed to be coming right now. But inside of the future though, Dogecoin is definitely set to pump huge, especially with this going on. And if we can get this done inside of Texas and all these other places, and Dogecoin being used as a form of payment in all these places, that's actually going to be pretty big for Dogecoin. But anyways, looking at the four hour chart right here, we're still inside of this red area of less demand. We've hit it one time here, two times here, and this is the third time. This is going to be the telltale sign of whether or not we're going to become bullish or not here with Dogecoin. So we got to wait for that. But yeah, the red area shows supply and demand, less demand, pretty much our resistance, and then green area, more demand, and pretty much our support. And yeah, even for the four-hour chart, we're still seeing that the bulls are in control, the 24-hour market control by 80%. But something else that I also noticed here is the buying, when you look at it from more of a long-term perspective at the four-hour chart, is still going down. It's still less than previously. And also, watch my previous video on Dogecoin. You'll see what I mentioned this. This was the same scenario back here. This buying was a lot larger than this. So you see the buying was going down. The buying was getting less and less and less. And if you watched my previous video, I mentioned that. And I was like, look, since that happened, that's why we had this selling that happened here from the 27th all the way down to the 30th. That's why all that selling happened because the buying started becoming less prominent. And then actually, as soon as you've seen that happen, we came into another point here with Dogecoin where you start to see these purchasing waves now coming back but they're a lot smaller than the previous ones. And then watch how they continue to get smaller and smaller and smaller, which is also another bearish signal. So these ones are smaller than all of these purchasing waves here on the oscillator. So this is a key signal that right now, this next thing that comes here for Dogecoin is going to be a lot less of a purchase. And it's probably only going to go up here to this mid area, like I said before, and get rejected. And then we'll finally be out of this area here. And that will get us closer back here to reality, I guess you could say back to like five cents. I feel like all this was a, a whole bull trap. So I could be wrong. Hopefully I am wrong. And hopefully we see this not become a bull trap. But all of this that happened all the way from mid June till now is just seeming like a bull trap right now. So we're going to have to see because look, if we can't break past this level here and then continue to rise, then all of this is confirmed a bull trap. So let's see what happens after that. But anyways, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. Like I said, you can come here, uh, watch my previous video. I'll I'll definitely link it here. You'll see it in the animations in the top right of the screen. I'll go ahead and do that now. But yeah, check that out if you want to watch my previous videos about how I mentioned that we we're going to get some more selling inside of Dogecoin. And this is probably all going to be a bull trap. I've been saying that. But yeah, I definitely believe this will. But yeah, definitely go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you like these Dogecoin videos. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you would think about this. And if you want to become a member of the channel, Definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next, as long as it's not some kind of scam coin. And also, remember, if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto. So you definitely want to get you a Ledger Nano hardware wallet. So either the Ledger Nano X or the Ledger Nano S, I got the X. Definitely check out my affiliate link in the description. And also, this video is this video is brought to you by Marcellus.BeatStars.com. If you need any background music for your YouTube videos, or if you just need beats for your music, I got you. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. 
As always, I'll be back with another video.